Hey super guys, my name is Tyler and we're standing here at City Lights Bookshop. So why waste time? Let's get inside. We've been here for 35 years selling books, music, movies, collectibles, everything you can imagine. And we're still going to try and do it until, well, this building falls apart. Which you can kind of see it sort of is. But it's still good, trust me. Uh, here you've got all kinds of sections. We've got poetry, uh, health, our new age and self-help section. There's our sports and uh, fix-it how-to guides in there. Try to cram as much as possible. True crimes here and around this corner, if you want to deep, uh, is science, philosophy, and religions. We try to literally cram as much as we can into tiny, tiny corners. Taking around this bend, we've got a shelf that is crazy popular, actually. It's our D&D &D and RPG books. We cannot keep these things in the shelf. I'm not really sure why. Uh, well, they're fun. But secondly, we've got vintage magazines. We've got all of our DVDs, our larger art books, as well as our wonderful, wonderful counter here. Uh, this is where you'll find me or any of my coworkers standing here behind waiting for you to buy stuff. <laughs> we've also got our really popular award winner shelf books that maybe you didn't know won awards and are really, really good, so we put it on display for you. To my right and my left are literature and languages. French, German, Spanish, Thai, Chinese, Cantonese, Mandarin, uh, a lot actually. Scandinavian languages, we try to have everything. We actually also had uh, Esperanto once. Um, if you know what that is, congratulations. <laughs> this way is kids and it is exploding with books because we want kids to read as much as possible so we try to have as much as possible. Over here it's some more literature and one of our many cozy chairs that you can just sit yourself down in and grab a book. As we move here we've got our wall of history moving from the ancient warfare all the way to uh, current modern times as well as some British, Scottish and regional history from around the world. Here in this crazy amalgam of shelves, we've got our architecture and art books, our pop fiction, and cooking, an entire shelf of cooking. Because you have to both feed your mind and your stomach, and we had a free shelf, so we figured we'd put books on it. Over here, our giant Christian religion and theology section, uh, as well as uh, anthropology and archeology. span they sort of go pretty nicely together. And if you'll notice, we're gonna be shifting underneath an archway and into a blue floor. This blue floor means that you are standing in science fiction and fantasy. Welcome. Here we've got all the great authors like Robert Jordan, uh, Heinlein, Frank Herbert, Anne McCaffrey, the list goes on. If you need science fiction or fantasy, come to this blue floor, plop yourself down in this chair, grab a good book, read, Find something you're gonna love, trust me. Uh, don't be spooked, that is Kirk. He guards this place and he's really, really good at his job because I don't think I've ever seen anyone not be scared of him the first time they see him, actually. As we're leaving here, uh, you'll notice Elf on the door wanting to know if you've got any cats. It's okay, he's just a poster. I think, I don't know. Following our final trek through, you'll notice that it looks actually a lot different from when you walk this way. And that's because we try to cover every single blank space with something fun, or colorful, or random that we found on the street or in the store. So that's enough on the main floor. Why don't you follow me and we'll head upstairs and check out what we got hiding. Now the building is very, very old, almost 150 years. So, you'll notice the stairs slant a little bit. The whole building does actually. The foundation isn't as straight as it used to be, but up here, we've got tons of more stuff. Music, CDs, I think two cassettes. <laughs> uh, but we've got everything from rock to pop, jazz, classical, soundtracks, country, blues, metal, Celtic, new age, we've got Pretty much everything you could think of. In here is even more literature. 
because we just couldn't fit enough downstairs. So we kept tons of copies of your favorite books up here in case you need more than just one. We've also got theater and poetry for you people who are involved in the arts. As well as a giant alcove of film books for you film studies geeks. Film theory, history, biographies, everything. It's all here. And it's all on the shelf. As much as we tried to cram it in. We've also got cars and motorcycles, photography mags, and right behind you, camping, hunting, fishing, and all kinds of other good outdoorsy stuff. Now, this part, not everybody gets to see. Here, we've got some remainder and leftover books, and, well, hopefully we'll get to them when we can. If you keep coming through, we've got even more extra storage space, and then here in our grand final room upstairs, this is where we keep all of our vinyl. We've got over 2,500 pieces of unique vinyl from rock, pop, jazz, classical soundtrack, pretty much everything. Uh, early electronica. We've also got uh, a gender studies section as well as a gay and lesbian section. Uh, film books, music books, even more art books, and a whole lot more randomness that we just couldn't contain downstairs. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. We've also got, uh, right now, our teeny weeny zine machine. It's actually really cool. It's curated by a local artists, and you can check it out here on the second floor. Limited time, quantities are shrinking. As long as you got yourself a toonie, you got yourself a piece of art. Cool. Sit on back. Well, that's City Lights in a nutshell. Super Guides, you can find us here at 356 Richmond between King and York. Open Monday to Friday, 11 to 6. Friday's open an extra hour until 7. Saturday, 11 to 6, and Sunday, 12 to 5. Now, thanks for coming, but get the heck out. I gotta go back to work. Go on. I gotta go.